God said to Abraham, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and offer him there as a burnt offering. But the angel of the Lord said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. Why would why would God I can't connect with the God who asks someone to kill their own son or to kill an animal in its stead, but I can feel the anguish that Abraham must be feeling being a part of a system that has normalized death and of which he feels he cannot escape from and trying to be as faithful as possible through that. We too are caught in these systems of death that are, are just inevitable. We know there's going to be another terrorist attack. We know there's going to be another police shooting. We know there's going to be another mass shooting. We know this, yet we are still moving towards it as if it is the only way. And the whole time we are trying to be as faithful as possible. But even as we find ourselves in this story, either as Abraham or as Isaac, I believe in the God who gives us the choice to choose how we will conduct ourselves in this test. I believe in the God who will send an angel to say, stop, do not commit the violence. I believe in the God who will send a ram in order to show us another way, a different way to get out of this system and this cycle of death. Maybe God is testing us. Maybe God is testing us right now. But know that the fates of Abraham and Isaac are bound together. And in that togetherness, God will provide for them and for us.